hardcore was, I, I would say maybe from in New York City growing up, was what it is to, I don't know, Jay-Z's hip hop. Hardcore, I guess, was to my, it was my hip hop. You know, it was the street music that was talking in the language that, that was more appealing to me than, than rap was. And, you know, it just, it, it just seemed more real and didn't have to be, it, it was just chaotic. It was mayhem. And that's what New York felt like at the time. So it was very identifiable. It, that's how the hardcore, I guess, touched us and influenced us, New York City hardcore in particular. And I say New York City hardcore in particular because it really was New York City hardcore in particular. You know, even, even though I love bands like Minor Threat, you know, or even, you know, you know bands out in the, in, the, in the West Coast, Black Flag, love those bands, but, you know, Agnostic Front, Crow Mags, you know, were the bands that were talking my language from my streets, from my city. You know, Madball, uh, Leeway, very, very fucking big for us. The New York hardcore bands were really doing all the cool stuff, and, and even bands like Biohazard. You know, Biohazard later on, I mean, you know, a lot of people fail to, to realize this, but Biohazard really kept the torch burning for hardcore. And, and, and they played more of an instrumental role in New York hardcore than, more peop than most people ever give them credit for. And they really should, because you know, they brought, when they came up to the front, they brought all that back with them. And they're saying, hey, and not only that, but here's old school and you respect it because we say so. Because it's res you, we respect it, so that means you respect it. You know, I mean, you know, that's, that, and that's what New York Hardcore was, was this, this respect community that, you know, that you felt grateful that it was happening in New York. You know, you felt... I called it my own, you know. Like I said, you know, I became friends with hardcore kids, but, you know, I never rolled in a crew because it just, that wasn't the lifestyle that I wanted or, or, or you know, that's not what I was desiring, but I do, I did love, everything else was appealing. You know, I just couldn't, I just wasn't that, that guy. It was, you had to, to be in hardcore in New York, you had to not just be tough, but you had to prove you were tough constantly. And... I always thought my eye was tough, but I didn't want to prove it all the time. I didn't want to get into fights all the time. I mean, one, you know, when you're rolling a, in a crew that, that rolls that deep, it's a lot of responsibility, you know. You can't punk out. You're in, a lot of times you're in a position where you have to beat down people you don't want to. So that's why I, I never, you know, other than, than being a fan of it and, and showing it love and respect, and being able to survive all those hardcore shows just because you knew somebody, you know. If you knew somebody, you were all right, you know. And I think that the fact that we were minorities, we got a pass too, you know, because you, you, you know, well, you never knew who you were messing with when it came with minorities. You might have a knife or a gun, so you had to think twice. It's not like we were coming in from Jersey, you know. We we're coming in from uptown. We we still have our were. You know, you still have that uptown swagger. They know who you are because they're from the streets too, you know. <laughs> so we managed to survive, man. But, they, you know, being at a hardcore show, I'm not going to lie, you were always on your guard. You knew something was going to, something always did go down and you hoped that it wasn't with you, you know. And you always had that sense of that fear, that, that you know, that nervousness. You didn't show it. You weren't allowed to show it. But you had to be ready just in case it did, to, 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 to prepare yourself, you know, to be able to, to survive in, in, in some scuffle at a hardcore show. They were, they were pretty violent, you know. But then again, I remember freaking Hell's Angels beating people with hammers. You know, we saw some rough shit in New York, man. 